Well, here on the Best of Texas Wrestling is an interview with one of Texas' best, Jose Lothario, and we could say one of Mexico's best. <laughs> That's, well, thank you very much for the kind words. You know, it's, I've been honest for the last few years, you know, there's a lot of new talent coming the way, and uh, of course, you know, when you talk about Texas wrestling, you know, all over the world, they know when you come to Texas, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, it's one of the toughest states in the United States to come and prove yourself that you're really a tough wrestler. But of course, you started uh, in sports in boxing, didn't you? I sure did, Paul. I fought, I fight uh, three, pro, three years professional. I had uh, 49 fights, and uh, I went 48, and I draw one, and uh, I was, I had a pretty good record in that time, and. Uh, you know, of course, it wasn't a middle-class weight, you know, so and I did it pretty good in that. And you were growing bigger all the time. That's true. You know, a lot of people, they, they don't realize that years back, you know, that they don't use the Mexican heavyweight boxers, but now they're using maybe four or five at the most. But, uh, you know, that way I had to come back, and I like the sport so much. And, uh, of course, you know, I was getting so big that I had to train in something, and I decided to be a wrestler, and uh, so far I've been doing very good. Have you ever had any uh, regrets about uh, being in wrestling instead of boxing? Well, no, not really, because, you know, I'm very grateful to wrestling, and I love wrestling, and, uh, of course, I like to box once in a while, you know, like mm -hmm. you see me in action yeah. sometimes, and I, if I got a, the opportunity to use my face, I'd be more than happy to do it, but uh, I love wrestling, it's my first love, and I still stick with wrestling. Well, I want to tell you, the fans are pleased that you stick with wrestling, because they have seen you battle the toughest men in the game, and they always are aware that when you're in the ring, they get action. Well, that's true, you know, not only that, but a lot of people know, a lot of wrestlers know, when they come to Texas, they, when they meet Jose Lothario, even win or lose or whatever, they know they've been in one tough fight right there. And you know that when you see to him in action, that you are seeing a man who has really won a good reputation the hard way. Getting ready for this battle, and we turn you over to Boyd Pierce. Introducing your final main event of the evening, Two out of three falls, one hour time limit for the Brass Nooks title and belt. Introducing first, on my right, the challenger for the title at 260 pounds from Saudi Arabia, the great Mephisto. Accompanied by his servant girl, uh, Miss Shalina. And across the ring at 240 pounds, the Brass Nooks champion from Mexico, Super Sock Jose Lothario. Two out of three falls, one hour time limit. Danny McShane, your referee. Well, this match is for the Brass Nuts title, owned by Jose Lothario. And the great Mephisto steps into the ring tonight. Here, when in this Coliseum, he had an altercation with Ivan Putsky and, um, and injured Ivan Putsky in a scene that we are still trying to investigate and Jose is not in a particularly good mood but then Mephisto has this crowd on his back as never before they are going to be rooting and rooting solidly for um, Jose Lothario to literally take him apart and as referee Irish Danny McShane looks him over he gives him the usual frisking for whatever he might find. So Mephisto now with the crowd baying at him, with Jose Lothario glaring at him, and with the referee suspicious of him. Yes, and that's one of the reasons why they're suspicious, as our director Kent Samuel gives you a close-up look at that controversial boot which he wears um, into the ring and the possibilities, of course, that it might be, might harbor something which was, should not be. But as Mephisto constantly claims, this is to help an affliction, a short leg. There's the foot right beyond Bill Varley's head, and right in the shadow of the head of Boyd Pierce. Booth was not concerned in the extracurricular activity between Mephisto and Ivan Putsky here tonight. Patiently, Shalina stands by. Impatiently, Jose Lothario stands by. And now, as is his usual custom, the 
the bell has sounded, and I don't know that the referee gave the gave the signal. And the fans here now are angrily proclaiming that Jose should get in there and get after him. And the they are on him. They are after him. They are ready to give Jose full license to deny him any of his civil or religious or other rights that he may consider necessary to his um, carrying on this match. Well, if, he, if he's mad, he doesn't really know what mad is. It's these fans here as he gives Shalina the direction toward the dressing room. This match now is underway as Jose Lothario uncorks on the great Mephisto and starts to blast him. He just popped him right smack over the eye and caught him a beauty. And there's little doubt about Jose Lothario's intentions now as he pours into the great Mephisto and he doesn't intend to let him get on the outside of the ring and escape. So Mephisto is on the floor, and Lothario is standing up there anxious and eager to get at him the moment that he can. And as the, as the Arab starts to make his way up on the ring apron, you can see that Jose is more than ready. Solid cloud here, and the great Mephisto finds himself blasted by, by Lothario. And nobody, but nobody can hit harder or more accurately. And he's got Mephisto cut open. Mephisto is bleeding, and listen to the bloodthirstiness of these fans here as they scream their approval and urge Lothario on. Then fans in all sports are bloodthirsty, and... They may have their urge satisfied in this particular match, believe me. Lothario is sharp shooting for that, that spot. Oh, how he clobbered him. Tremendous. He, it's Lothario's move and he bounces in there. This is, this is one thing Lothario can do to drop his weight and he may could have a fall. We've got a fall. We sure do. We've got a solid fall on behalf of Jose Lothario to start off this two out of three fall battle. This battle for the Brass Nuts title, and we've got more to go. And we'll be back with you in a moment right after we have this word from the studio. Up in the ring, the great Mephisto is receiving the attentions of his second Tommy Fushi. He is still bleeding badly, but he is draped over the ropes and sitting on that second rope. Now he is just draped. <clears throat> and Lothario has been standing there poised and ready to attack at the first opportunity. And there's the opportunity. That bell removes and ends the rest of the, the great Mephisto. And he's looking now for a place to hide. So Mephisto now starts to maneuver away from Lothario and Willie Mike. Lothario has the intention of knocking his block off and I don't think it's any secret. They're in the mix up in the ropes as the referee tries to get rid of him to break him apart. <clears throat> he almost succeeded. Lothario's chop did more and we Mephisto made another mistake as he moves up on that apron Whoops. Right above us is the big boom of the great Mephisto as he moves up and down on this ring apron. But the chair is out of the way now, and this could lead to Mephisto getting in there and battling. He's the guy who threw the chair in. He has no reason to complain. All Lothario did was pick it up and use it, which is a smart move. Mephisto now, as he is holed up in the corner, Tried that long leg dive, but it didn't work. Oh, how he hammed it in there. Beautiful work. The 
the pistol now as he comes out with those fists swinging. He's trying to get the jump on, on Lothario. Meeting Lothario out in the aisles is like meeting him in the alley. It's something you don't want to do. And Mephisto slammed Jose down into the chair here. Jose's knuckles are red with blood from having slammed into the um, head of the great Mephisto. And he comes around here with a driving kick of his, and Lothario's having his problem. On top of Mephisto, he could have a fall. We've got a fall. And Jose Lothario caught the toe of that boot. Caught it hard. And again, Mephisto goes through that strange ritual of bouncing that boot of his. First toe first and then heel first down into the into the canvas. Mephisto doesn't look any better than he looked at the end of the first fall, which he lost but he is at least on equal terms now with Jose Lothario, and falls are even. And when we return here, Danny McShane is going over there to check into that boot, but he already checked the boot prior to the match. Other people have checked it. Officials have checked this thing and found nothing for which they could penalize him. And we'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio. There you see the boot. Belongs to the pistol. It's the one that did the damage to Jose Lothario. And Lothario has not risen from his feet. He is being attended by Pat Hatcho. The referee stands between them only because the bell has not yet sounded. But the bell is due to sound. There it is. Bill Barley swings away and so does Mephisto. He starts to all the way with those kicks. He may have something wrong with his foot, but I'll tell you one thing, whatever he has wrong with his foot doesn't interfere with his kicking. A punishing match. These fellows throwing hard wallops. Mephisto may be able to kick hard, but he also can punch hard. Sharp shooting by Lothario, and nobody can do it better than he can. He's picking that spot that he has already cut open, and he is finding it with painful regularity for the great Mephisto. He struck out to the exposed ribs of Jose that time, and now with a handful of face, he starts to rip at Lothario. You see him as he takes hold of it, nose and starts to twist. The chain watching now the fans start their staccato applause for Jose Lothario and try to take them on. Maybe they do because this boy knows what that applause means and he never lets his fans down. Hard landing for Jose Lothario. There goes the Fisto. And the Fisto again picking up the chair and trying to land it on Lothario's head. I remember this is a brass nuts match. There are no disqualifications. Use of the fists illegal and use of the feet too. So Mephisto believes that he has left Lothario out on the floor and softened up his, his job. They literally pushed Jose back in there before the count. And he is still feeling the effects of the kick that ended second fall of this of this battle but watch out because Jose can end this match with a well-placed wallop if it lands on the jaw of Mephisto and he has done it before and brass nuts battling is his his way of doing it and now it's Mephisto is trying to cut the um, Lothario open and he may have succeeded and I'm not sure whether the blood on Jose is Jose's or Mephisto's? But neither is Mephisto as he comes in now to bite away at the head of, um, of Jose Lothario. And Lothario finds now the opportunity to lay one in there. You're looking at a man who is mad. Hard punching machine. Oh, 
Oh, beautiful arm. He dropped him right smack on his tailbone that time. And the pistol is in for trouble. Oh! Trouble. The pistol now as he looks to the rope for protection. Looks to that corner so he can hold up. And everything that Lothario feels shows up in his stomach. And there is a driving butt with the head, a tackle, if you will. But more an effort to, to use head first tactics into a painful area. Backslide is what Jose wants, and you have it. There's one. He almost caught the pin there. Almost. Remember, Jose is risking his brass nuts title. Mario knows that if he follows up on that cut and causes Mephisto to bleed enough, he's going to have, it, have him where he wants him. He's got him where he wants him now because the way they're battling on the, on the floor right now is Jose's cup of tea and Mephisto on the floor. And this means that the chain doling the cat up in the ring. <coughs> Oh, oh, that ring literally uh, shook from the impact as Jose was there. And it's, there he is trying to be the foot and he kicked Jose, but he went sprawling on the floor himself. He is not yet back in the ring. Jose inside, but, and we've got a winner. We've got a winner, and Bill Dallas, the kind of 20 not made it into the ring. And right now, Mephisto is doing more to make himself unpopular as he uncorks on the on, on, on Jose Lothario. Lothario down, the chain not far from it. And with the, with the, with the Lothario who wins. 